Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Keeper's Heart. This is their Irish and bourbon coming in at a 46% ABV. Now, uh, I've done their Irish and American whiskey and I thought it was pretty damn good for its price. I really enjoyed it. And more recently, they decided to release one with their Irish and they blend it with a bourbon. So I'm really curious what's going to happen with this. So as always, we're going to try it two different ways. First, we need no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water, see what changes up. Uh, but yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel, that uh, kind of good stuff. And uh, I'll link above and below the original review for the Irish and American whiskey. So you can do that. Take a look at that, see what the differences are. And I will be definitely doing, doing an A-B comparison between the two. Love the color. Very golden, very light golden. Looks like an Irish. Maybe a little darker than an average Irish, but very light. And coming at a 46% ABV, we're going to uh, hopefully bring out some good flavors here. So let's go for notes. Huh. I don't know if I would have known that was Irish at first. It, it is a little bit of a grain of an Irish. You get a bit of a nuttiness in there. The spice is showing up. Honestly, the nose reminds me too much of a bourbon versus an Irish, but it does have the bit of grain of an Irish. Yeah. Get a bit of oak. Spiciness, definitely. Cinnamon in there. A little bit of ABV. but it's got a nice solid bourbon to it. We don't know where the bourbon's coming from. I don't believe this is one they're making themselves. You do get the, almost the grain butterscotchy shortbread cookie note of the Irish in there. Now that you've kind of, uh, I've, I've let it open up. So I let it open up for a moment here and you do start getting the classic Irish on the nose. That bit of shortbread cookie, butterscotchy, grain definitely but it's an interesting blend all right let's go for taste yeah that's different interesting okay definitely get some spices going on in here i think they're blended together really well my brain is trying to comprehend what it drank because it's like my brain is going two different places as well because it's like this is part Irish, part bourbon. Get a bit of spiciness, a little bit of the grain from the Irish, and then gets swollen here by a bit of vanilla, a little bit of a chocolate note is kind of showing up in here. It's a little sweet with the vanilla. And then it drinks very soft, my second sip. Definitely not as heavy on the second one. That is different. The nuttiness shows up just a little bit, but not super heavy. A little pepperiness going on. Definitely, you can tell the Irish is there and you can tell the bourbon is there. The concept is working. It's very different. Again, my brain is trying to comprehend what it's really drinking. When you're taking two things like that and putting them together, my brain is trying to pick them apart. Because you get the bit of grain from the Irish, then you get a bit of the oak from the bourbon. You get a bit of the sweetness of a vanilla from the bourbon, but you also get a little bit of the butterscotchy from the Irish. And they're melding together really well and almost bringing across like a, uh, a chocolate. I'm trying to think of what kind of chocolate, almost just a, a nice simple chocolate in the middle here with that bit of spice, the bit of oak, the bit of everything coming together. It's really nice. It's a very subtle sip now. There's not a lot of complexity. There's not a lot of other differences going on. It is 100% what it's claiming to be is what you're tasting. You're getting a good simple Irish and a good simple bourbon. 
and you're putting them together and you're getting a good simple Irish bourbon. Like it, it is that's just the weirdest thing because you know my brain is wanting either more Irish or more bourbon to show up, and surprisingly, neither are fighting for that first place. Which is not a bad thing, but it's just my brain's being dumb. I don't know why. My brain is wanting like, give me an Irish or give me a bourbon. Don't give me both. And my brain's like, yeah, but that's also kind of cool. And I'm really appreciating that. Here's what the water will do. So let's go for notes. Went very ethanol forward. Yeah. Oh. I'm getting the apple sweetness over here. Here it goes very ethanol. A bit of vanilla. A little bit of the butterscotch note. A bit of oak. But not much else of anything. Very, very... It goes very mute, but also a bit of the uh, ethanol. Yeah, here I'm getting like the uh, green apple like almost the rind of a green apple. Oh, that's, I'm starting to really like that nose now. All right, let's go for taste. Woo, drinks a lot warmer. It gets a little sharp and it speed runs any flavor it did have right to the ground. It drinks like a budget Irish to the point of being almost offensive to budget Irish. It, it's very prickly in the back. It, the, it gets angry. It gets very angry. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. As always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. The bit of water makes it very angry. It goes almost metallic, but grain forward metallic. You still get a bit of vanilla, you still get a bit of the oak, but your characteristics are really dying out there. I'm gonna go back to the meat version. Yeah. That's so much better, so much better. I love the sweetness that I'm now finding in there too, because I was, I think that's why my brain won, it was a bit more sweetness in there, because it was just too different on its own for me to cl classify what my brain wanted from it. But that bit of sweetness is nice. All right. Let's talk about market price. Because we all know market price is market price. And it's always going to vary. Picked this up from Total Wine for, I think it was $30. I don't think $30 bucks is bad. I will say this. Looking online, there's a lot of places going into the high 40s to mid 50s for this. I think that's a little out of its wheelhouse. And to put in perspective, the original one they did, which was the American Whiskey plus Irish, it was like $27 in my market. And that's about where it floats around, but you still see some places inflating the price. The flavors here, this is an interesting example of blending to a different degree, and I like that. I don't think it's, I, I wouldn't pay more than probably 35 for it. I think 35 would be about tip at the top of my, my budget for this one, especially with the water. The water version doesn't give me any additional explorations I can do. It goes very much like a budget Irish in a very bad way. Here, at least with the neat version, you are getting both sides of that coin and they are blended together very well. And I give that a huge props because sometimes when things start getting blended together, it's almost like they just didn't get their time to marry. And you kind of put them in a cask and you said, here you go, put it in a bottle. And every piece is a, its own thing, just doesn't bring across it together. Where here, you definitely get the togetherness going on. I do like it, but wouldn't pay over 35 for it. I think 30 bucks is a good solid buy for it though, either way. So yeah, there you have it folks. Keeper's Heart, Irish plus bourbon. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirit I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may your last trick of the night be the best one.